And there she sat, the princess of sweetness and cherry pie, weeping into the fire, and she would let no one see her, not even me, and I was her favorite. No, she thought and thought until she thought a hole in the hearth, until she knew what she must do. She went to the blacksmith and got from him a pair of iron shoes, and that night, when all slept, she slipped out of the palace and set off to wander the world in search of her husband. She walked and walked until she wore out the first pair of shoes, and still no one had set eyes on the grovel hog. And she got a second pair of shoes and began again, never stopping, always hoping. And the second pair of shoes wore out, and still she walked, always looking, always hoping to hear a music both bitter and sweet, beginning in hello and ending in goodbye, but nothing. Till one day, weary and wretched, she came to a stream and lay down by it, and saw in the water's mirror her hair was now quite white, and she sorrowed for her red hair and her husband, both lost forever. To the health of that most beautiful woman who could not keep her promise for one more day. Husband. How did you find me? I have walked the world to find you. And I've worn out the soles of three pairs of iron shoes. My hair is no longer red. But I come to claim you. And catch you up. And snoodle you and hug you to bits. who could not keep her promise won back her husband through looking without hope of finding and holding on for dear life. And in time her hair grew red again and there was another wedding all over. And we were both invited. And I told the best story there is to tell. A story which begins in hello and ends in goodbye. And for a gift she gave me a shoe worn to nothing. And here it is. Ha, 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 ha.